Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Coma SRT5 Garage. We are on a movie rampage today, video rampage. Um, I will have my daughter Violet pick out the next test fuel. The last one we did was Bayberry scented lamp oil. So I think it's safe to say we can all, we can use any lamp oil, but uh, I'm going to let her pick anyway, whichever next oil we test. So anything on this table. Go ahead and pick one. That one? Yeah. What is it? Beach Comer Citronella Torch Fuel. Citronella Torch Fuel, that's what it is. Makes it keeps the bugs away while you're uh, enjoying your patio. Okay, let's come over here. All right, you're going to be my helper. Pop that open and pour some in that tank. Right here? Yep. Tell me when to stop. Oh, that should be enough. It's just enough to do the experiment. And then we take this can, no take, take this bottle, and pour it in our 10 micron bucket. So we can start the filtration process. We don't know what's in it, what isn't in it. So this is what we do with the remaining bottles. And it's all going to go into the big jug of... The whole thing? Yep, the whole thing. Oh. Into the big 55-gallon uh, drum of filtered oil, filtered down to half a micron. So we've got our little sample, and we've got what's going into the tank. All right. We've got leftover Bayberry lamp lantern oil in the fuel line, so we're going to have to run it for a little bit. Let's get the lid on so that doesn't splash everywhere. And we set the throttle. All right, you want to do the honors, turn the key? You know how to turn it, right? Just like a car, you turn it, and then no... Yeah, nope, it, nothing to be afraid of. There we go. Good job. Now, we're going to let this run for long enough for that blue to fade to orange. Slow down the fuel flow through the filter. It's 
this is designed as a fuel filter. I believe it is a 12 micron, so we'll leave it go a little bit longer and we'll come back to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it has been about 15 minutes, and I'm going to call this a success. Uh, there, I can tell you there aren't any bugs in the garage, so uh, let's set it down here. I'm going to call that a success. Like I said, there's no bugs in the garage. Um, it does flow a lot better through the filter, like I did say before. But then again, my first test with this filter was with that thick, heavy vegetable oil. Uh, this is one of my favorites because it is from Napa. Not because it's from Napa, but because of the size and how clear it is. So if you're looking for a filter, it's Napa 3001. It's a little fuel filter. And for a mower, it's gigantic. For a quad, it's adequate. For something like this, it's perfect. And uh, it fits quarter inch line. It's great. I'm going to go buy about 10 more of these. And, oh, look at that. We have a fuel in the return line. That's, for, that's a first. Okay. Um... I don't know where to end this. That's a success. Citronella oil for the win. Uh, that's a good thing because we already dumped all the extra citronella oil into the tank. So that's a win. Have a good day. And stay tuned to see what else this engine might run on. Have a good one.